<laughs> All right, because this is a this is a nasty topic. <clears throat> Let's go with this one. Did you hear that Oprah was doing a documentary for Oprah? Yeah, was doing Oprah a doc- Winfrey. Yeah, doing a documentary for Michael Jackson. Does she know Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Does she know him? Okay, for all the, the alleged victims and stuff like that. Like, that man is dead and gone. I mean, I understand. She, and she knows that she was getting backlash from it. But why try to dig up those things? <coughs> he is gone. There is no money. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, I don't know if there's any money. What would you want to say? I was the one who brought this up to mom. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. Oh. And I was like, Mom, did you know that they found evidence that Michael Jackson in his little, his getaway home, they found like a secret room filled with kitty porn? <laughs> really? Yep. Full of it. Children, you know. Children, you know. Yeah. My thing is, <laughs> he already he, dead. He's he can't, gone. He can't even come. He, he can't even he can't like. Even, he, can't, he can't even defend himself. He can't defend himself. Like why? Why would we bring that up now? And I during mean, Black History Month, you couldn't wait until April. <laughs> Mom, don't <laughs> don't be don't be like that. Cause the potential you victims. You could don't. not wait until April. Like, start rolling, like, how you're going to pull all this stuff out in March. Like, mid-March. Like, could, could we have gotten a rest? Obviously, we just couldn't get a rest. Because Gucci <laughs> and them other brands got us all the way effed up. <laughs> go okay. ahead, because I want, I want you to say, go ahead. Okay, so I was really pissed at this. But I try to keep an open mind because I'm trying to be. Oh. A, I'm trying to be a good person. Mm. Okay, L- let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Okay? Tell us, tell us, sweet. Because dear. Americans like to think that America is the is that everybody knows about America. That America is the center of attention, and it's not. People from other countries do not know a lot about America. And I don't even, I don't know who the people, who are the CEOs of these, con- uh, if they're brands. even, yeah, brands, if they're even, I think one of them is French too, so. But yeah, it's really messed up what they did, and it's, and it's like, how could you, how could you be so stupid? But I try, I try to be a good person, but honestly, they're going to hell in a handbasket, is all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all, that's all I'm saying. Oh. I, I wasn't expecting all of that. <laughs> I'm just... You know what? It's us that make these brands popular. It's us. It's not it's white people. Does. It's us. It's us and those rappers. Black and, you people? Know, black, black people. Black, on, black people love to show their wealth. Through material items, that's true. Because like we and stuff. have to feel like we're superior. Like we have to feel like we are not. You have to prove something. Those. Not only have we got something to prove, but like we're not that stereotypic ghetto people, or yeah. we're not the poor, or we're not the help, or whatever the case may be. That's why we make our money is top dollar. Our money is top dollar. And we should, like, FUBU should have still been soaring. FUBU should have still been soaring. Who else was a black? That's the only black brand that I can really remember. Um, Fat Farm. Fat Farm should have still been soaring. But you know, I, I mean, I don't know exactly what happened, but they should have still been soaring. Our black dollar should have still been making them soar instead of <clears throat> making these Gucci brand and... The and what was the other one? The I can't remember all the brands that were making these black jackets with these red lips and and eyes. Like Katy Perry came out with some shoes, right? Yeah, that's what I was saying about the whole Katy Perry thing. 
in the be- when we first filmed the I video. Know. Yeah. <laughs> Katie Berry, come here. <laughs> well, I got a proposition say, for you. Come here. I'm just saying, like, and they act like they don't know that is not racist and that it doesn't hurt our feelings. But you know what? Sometimes we're just too ignorant to see that it is racist because I saw and don't come for me beehives I'm don't (laughs) don't don't no we will never be famous stop it (laughs) I don't care about being famous no we need you to make some money okay stop it (laughs) I'm all about the truth oh god she had on a jacket that was brown and had like the red lips and stuff like that and Ooh, I can't Did even you say Gucci. He's Italian. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with being Italian. <laughs> Let me not say that. I'm I, just saying. I just don't remember. I just know that as a black person that had black children who was brown skin, I don't appreciate stuff like that. And no black I worry. Does. I worry every day about my children. And about my husband. And the day that we got into that accident, and the cop came to the car, I'm like, Raymond, should I put my hand on the dashboard? Like, he was like, why? What are you talking about? I don't know. I'm like, this is a black car full of black people. I don't need anything to pop off before we take flight. And you know, I remember that when we were little, and I didn't, like... Like, when I was a kid, I never, I didn't understand what being a different race mean or being a minority, basically, because I grew up not paying attention to that kind of thing. Like, I just thought people were people and that there wasn't a different race and that we just came in different colors. Okay, let, let me shine some light on you. Have you ever noticed when you were little that you would pick out a doll baby and I'd be like, well, where's the black doll baby? Yes, and I never understood that when I was little. I was like, "It's just a Barbie. It's it's not that serious." And then I rem- I remember my first like 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 black like doll, and she was like a queen. Like I remember her, and I I kept her for such a long time. And I remember when I had to throw her away, I literally cried because she was like falling apart, and I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't fix her anymore. Because I would like when we would play. Because me and my brother used to play dolls together because I would force them to play dolls with me. And we would play cars, okay? But anyway, I remember we would play rough and I would always break her and I would get pissed off. I'm like, okay, well, what am I going to do now? (laughs) And I had to keep fixing her over and over and had to be gentle. She had like a fake wheelchair because (laughs) because she couldn't work anymore. And I was mad because I had to throw her away because I couldn't fix her anymore. It wasn't a real wheelchair. It was, like, made out of paper. It was... <laughs> but, yeah, yeah I, I remember that. I always... And I sure. never, I never, like, thought, like, why? Because it's, children sometimes think that the white doll babies are better than the black doll babies. And it wasn't that. I just liked... Like, there wasn't a lot to choose from. It wasn't. There wasn't. Especially at Toys R Us, too. Like, when you want, like, I've all, I wanted those, like, special edition, like, the black ones that they would actually sell at Toys R Us. When I would get there, they would be gone or out of stock or they would be, like, they would be gone. And I wouldn't have a choice. I would be like, okay, well, what's the next prettiest one then? She got some nice shoes on. I want my dog <laughs> to wear those shoes. Let's go. <laughs> like, I, like, I, I wouldn't think when I picked the doll, baby. I'd just be like, oh. I like her clothes. And then I would take them off and put them on a new doll, on another doll, baby. So the chief, I think I could be wrong about this, but the chief and editor of Brazil Vogue had a birthday party and wanted, the theme was colonial days. You know, slavery days. Had, had our people, had our people our black I mean, people. our our country was the only one that was colonized, but it was the one in that cha- killed the most dressed people. Up, not in chains, but just as the house slaves were dressed to serve, you know, to serve everyone. 
Brazil. So, you said Brazil, right? Yeah, uh, Brazil. So the next day, and aren't Brazilians uh, people of color? So mm-hmm. a lot you know, of they're, pe- they're, a lot of people of color think they have a pass to be able to do stuff like that. Well, black pe- there's a lot more black people in Brazil than what we think. For one, they have the highest, one of the highest. Um, I don't want to say rating, but they have the the most. Uh, black African Americans, Africans, black people, there. Um, also, it's hard for them to work. So when they get something, even though it's demeaning, they they take it, and I feel bad for them. What are you doing? Colonial. That's not how you spell colonial. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking this up. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, she was resigned. a fashion director. Resigns over, over the photos. photos that evoke slavery era. Oh, excuse me. She was okay. She wait, was wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. So I haven't seen these pictures. So Imagine. it just evokes. It just evokes slavery. That's colonialism. Brazil had colonialism too. So I can't. I, I can't just assume that because it Put was Instagram. Co- Cause we can't just assume. Oh, they're wearing a, a ragged sheet. Oh, it's black people. We can't. I don't. I don't the wanna theme see. was colonial. Yeah, colonialism happened in a lot of other countries than America. Prove me wrong. Just prove me. Prove me wrong. Cause I want to be proved wrong. Actually, no, I don't. But no. <laughs> nobody wants to talk about it. Anyways, I'll edit that out. But um, yeah, no, just. The way the house slaves were dressed. I can't, I don't, I don't want to be like, oh, just jump to the thing. Because I don't want to assume something of someone like that. Pull up, pull I got it. it. On Instagram? Oh, I hate doing that. Oh, there wasn't one? Okay. There's um, nothing depressing. I mean, this whole, this this whole, whole thing has been depressing. But no, you were telling me about the... The the pictures that came out with for a governor who who posted blackface when he was in college. He was in college. I mean, yeah, it does, I think that I think that's how the story went. He was at a college like Halloween he was in college. party party yeah. when yeah. he was in college. I mean, it doesn't excuse it. It doesn't. It doesn't. Because that always that's gives the, them that that's their okay because they we're we're over. It's Halloween. And you know, Trevor Noah says something for anybody. Trevor? Who, no. Oh. Who, for everyone who doesn't know who Trevor Noah is, you need to get to know him because he's a beautiful everyone man. Everyone knows who he is. He is so beautiful and he's smart. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So yeah, the thing is, his excuse was he no, because he said it was at a uh, I forgot what it was, but when he had someone to come to defend him, it was his black friend, and his black friend was like, <laughs> I love yeah, he's not them. racist. I got, I got two they, black friends. And then they, and then they went on to a, like, a match where they're like, well, you're racist. Well, I'm not racist. You're racist. And one person said, I'm not racist. I have two black nieces and nephews. And then the next day came out about him saying, Something about that black people. <laughs> and then Trevor Noah was like, oh, who, where's your nieces and nephews now? <laughs> he said something about Obama or something during his election or something. My thing is... I hate that excuse. Oh, I have a black friend. That doesn't, that doesn't excuse anything. That does, your black friend's not your black I, friend anymore. I mean, back then... No, don't, no. I'm not giving him a pass. Calm down. Back then, people really didn't say too much because they always they thought they just think it was funny. But all the black fishing and stuff that's going on now, you know, I saw like, everybody. I tell you, when we we can rise when and we, dominate, well, what she when means is can, when we get our s together. Which will never happen. It won't happen anytime soon. No, it's soon. going to happen. It will happen someday, we, but not any day too. I, it, black I, it, black it people are still attacking their own. We are not going to get anywhere until we get our mess together. That's one thing. Can can we can we help one another? Like can that's we not going to happen ourself? because because p- black people say to other black people all the time, well, you're not black enough because you're not dark enough, or you or you're too light, or you're too dark, or you're too this. 
no, it's not going to happen. We're not going to get it together. And it won't be anytime soon. And it probably won't be in our generation Once, either. It might happen in yours. Once we get our ish together. together. <laughs> Once we get our ish together. We are going to do some great things. But we're, we're already doing, doing great things. No, but we're not doing great things. We're, taking we're doing okay. Back. We're doing okay. We're not doing great things. We could be doing such great things, and I'm not trying to say that we're superior, but all we're not superior. Be, I'm not saying no. that. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm not saying that we're superior, but we could be doing so much better. We need to be looking out for each other. We really do. Yeah, and then other black people trying to tempt other black people into doing things that they know will get them caught. And they... Because everyone wants to get money quickly. Yes. Wait, you no know what? No one wants before, to look out for the Before I term. end this off... No, we're not ending it yet. I yeah. got something to say. Before I end this off... <laughs> I got something to say! Did I just you said I have something to I say! I know you did. Did you see something on Instagram... <laughs> Well, it was this black comedian, <laughs> and I I don't know where he was at, but he was a uh, he was in front of a whole bunch of white kids, and they had do rags on their head talking about them trying to get wave track wave track. Yo, yo, what's up? Oh my God, the world has gone crazy. We got white kids with do rags on their heads. What the fuck? Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Why why you got the do rag? What's that? You got wave? You getting wave? This motherfucker said, I'm getting away. See, this is what happens in the suburbs. <laughs> Black culture to another level. Look at that shit. Look at that. You're, you're waiting for where you ways. Let me see. Check them. Check them. Show them. Show them. Show your ways. Show your ways. Oh! oh. <laughs> Wave check. Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, my God. You like your ways. Oh. He like hell yeah! Look at this motherfucker. We got them waves. I won't get, I won't get seasick if I keep looking, right? Oh my god! <laughs> waves. What's a white kid? <laughs> What's a? What does that mean for them? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean for them? Like I can't picture that. That like it's, like they all had on do, and he's like these like Lamar's age. They all had on like do rags talk about wave check, wave Some check. Get away kids. <laughs> they don't happen I'm often, but you, when they we, do happen, it's the funniest thing. We set the trend. We set the tone. This is why the Kardashians are so popular because they have their bodies looking like ours. Because they weren't built like that. They weren't plump like that. They didn't know how to sell Chloe to us. Was, because but Kim wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, have you seen? Oh wait, no, I saw a picture of Kim. No, let me finish. I saw I a picture of Kim. You said you weren't going. Anyway, uh, okay. we saw. I saw a picture of Kim's body, and it was like boom, boom, boom. It's just legs, just, just, just some like, like a. And her legs looked like a pinky, and then all of it. But then you got us that were actually oh, already gosh. like that. Like, I was already sick. And before they made it popular, I was already trying to make sure my butt didn't look big. Because I thought that Yeah, that's people, what people will always be like, oh, you're ghetto if you have a big butt. Or are you ghetto oh, or this? But the, the braids, the box braids, the, the not the box braids, the boxer braids. The, it's braids going back. It's plaques going back. And the braids that what Kim made everything get popular. Like, oh my gosh, like we we set the tone. If we know that we can set the tone, we should be looking out for one another. That's all I'm trying to say. And that note, I'm gonna wrap no, everything up. No, let me say what <laughs> I have to say. say. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just joking. Oh, okay. Please let me say what I have to say. What? Okay. So, <laughs> okay, so when I was little, my fr a friend that I had was like, I'm so glad you're my friend. And then I was like, yeah, I'm glad you're my friend too. And then she was like, see, I'm, see, I like black people like you, black people who aren't ghetto. And I was like, what 
didn't tell me that. Who was she? And I was like, is that supposed to be a compliment? Like, what do you mean? Because I'm not get Like, to, to some white people, we look ghetto no matter what we do. Even if we, quote unquote, have a good education or speak normal or whatever, to them, to them we will always be ghetto. No matter what we do. And that just pissed me off. I was like, you, you, what do you mean by you're glad you're friends with a black person who isn't ghetto? Like, mm-hmm. like that doesn't even make sense. You're in, you're how old and you're already saying stuff like this? Like, what are you watch? Are you watching the news all the time? Because when I was little, I wasn't caring about stuff like that. I wasn't. But yeah. Oh, and then just one quick thing. All right, you got two seconds. So I saw this thing, a comment, and the person was like, black people are so sensitive. And I was like, yeah, you'd be sensitive too if your if your great-grandmother w- went through slavery and she couldn't even live her own life. But yeah, you're so right. We're so sensitive. Yeah. You're so sensitive. So, so yeah, I'm so way. sensitive because I get fired if my name is Watermelon Shakisha or something. Yeah, you're right. You're totally right. Like... Yeah, I get in trouble because of my skin color. Yeah, you're totally right. We're so sensitive. So sensitive. So sensitive. We're so sensitive. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. And then, on that note, mm-hmm. thanks for watching the video. Leave those comment down below. Please, don't, I want to hear y'all. Don't come opinion. for her. <laughs> no, come for, come for me. Come for me. My mom will beat you up. <laughs> My mom's got my back. She, she didn't lie about that. But <laughs> see, don't, 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 don't come back. <laughs> she's coming. She's, she's, she's I want to see child. what you guys have to say. But yeah, comment down below. Let let me know if I'm if I'm missing something. Like I just really thought that we need to do over. So April first is the new is the new, is black, the new black History Month. <laughs> Who's on board? <laughs> no one's gonna be on board. But okay. Oh my god. Sweaty under my arm. Uh, yeah. Do you I see go. all these lights? I know. Alright, so the on that note, I need to go because I need to put okay, my clothes. Bye, Divas and Divas. Bye. Good night. Peace. About to go to sleep. Bye.